ni Tekna Msangi ya jishinde.com Downloading symbols for Business Central Cloud can be a daunting task for some people. They can say that it took them two or three days for them to be ready, others a week for them to be able to download. In previous videos, I have covered how to download symbols on-prem for in the the beginner series we looked at on-prem and uh, there's a series where we downloaded symbols on docker for the docker environment and uh, the cloud is what i haven't covered and it could be a challenge if you don't uh, create the settings right and the most important files okay let me just start from scratch you always uh, you should download visual studio code and this is a step that I believe everybody will be able to do, downloading Visual Studio Code, and make sure that you have the L language extension for now. Just for downloading symbols, you just need the L language extension for Microsoft Dynamics. That will give you this uh, array of uh, commands when you click on, okay, when you press on, click on Control shift p You'll have these options, L go, and let's create a project just directly picking the latest version. And then at this point here, I'll be presented with Visual Studio Code and an option to select the cloud sandbox or your own server. Microsoft gi uh, is giving us a very easy and fast way of being able to download symbols or to get started. So choose the cloud sandbox. If you are targeting on cloud, of course, this is a video of uh, downloading symbols for uh, the Microsoft Sandbox. Once done, we do have now uh, some files created. We do have the snapshots, the VS code, and then the launch.json, app.json, and the hello world. We need the symbols so that we can have a reference to the base application code. And because we are extending, remember AL is extension development. So a reference to the basic application code is what we are trying to get. So in the launch.json, the most important thing, make sure that this environment name is the same environment name as the one in your online cloud sandbox. And I'll basically open my admin center and confirm that the environment name that we are having is the same. So basically, we are looking at a production. I just named my environment sandbox. So whichever name that you named should match the environment that is here. And we do have a sandbox here, but mine is Jishinda Creative Limited or JCL in with the symbols. And then the other thing which is also specific to the sandbox is the version and we can this the main version here is the most important as long as if this could be 21 then it won't work uh, in in our version in upload json our version is currently reading 22 and on this side it's also 22 so this sub version number is, are not as important but the main version number is important if it was 21 make sure you're targeting 21 as simple as that and then while downloading the most important thing is the account that you are trying to use to download or to authenticate should be um, a user or it should be a user in the online sandbox as well so the most important thing also is to clear the credentials cache first and in our output, it will uh, show that the cache has been cleared. This is uh, maybe you could have already done the process and you could be having some credentials stored in the cache that are uh, will try to authenticate to your business central. So you always need the latest credentials if you would like to download symbols. And control shift P again, and then we click on download symbols. After clearing the cache, a prompt will come here to prompt us to sign in to our web browser so that we can authenticate with a code. So this is the code that will link um, the 
browser back to our device. That's what you are seeing here. We do have a device login. So I'll copy and open. It will open the browser. And once the browser is open, I'll paste the code. Click on Next and sign in with this account that is already uh, authenticated in Business Central. And then it will tell me or prompt me that I have signed in and I can go back to my Visual Studio code to confirm that the symbols are being downloaded. And as you can see, the symbols are getting downloaded. And what they'll add, they'll add an AL packages folder, which will now be having the Microsoft application, system application, the system, and what else? Let's see. Let's wait for it to complete. And yeah and the system. So, and that's how you have downloaded symbols. If we could be having dependencies for other applications, then those dependencies could be part of the AL packages folder. So if you still have a challenge in this beginner part of AL programming, don't shy away. Uh, write a comment and share this video if you have someone who is having challenges to just get started. This could be a hurdle if you are not able to do it correctly. So that's it for this video. The most important thing, thing is to clear the credential cache and redownload the symbols and use an account that is authenticated and make sure that the application that you are targeting is the same as the one that is in your sandbox. And as well, the environment name is the environment name that is in your sandbox. And you'll be able to easily download your symbols from for the Microsoft Cloud Sandbox. That is, that's it. <laughs> that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. And may God bless you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.